Hi, I am Dr. M. Jokoshik, consultant in microsurgical andrology and men's health. Today I will talk about what is andrology. So, or what does an andrologist do? Basically, andrology is a subspecialty or super specialty in a field of medicine which deals with male fertility and male sexual dysfunction. Mainly, we deal with the male genital area. So, in case of male fertility, what everyone does is they give you some medicines to improve the, your sperm count. But it, it do helps. It does help. Out of 10, 5 to 6 patients, the sperm parameters does improve and they will be able to have a successful conception or a, able to have a successful baby in their life. But in certain scenario, this doesn't help. Because the, cert, the exact cause which has caused the spermatogenesis or the sperm count in the man to come down is, has to be first found out so that we can exactly treat the cause and in turn we can increase the spermatogenesis. So that's what we do in case of male infertility. We find out what exactly has happened in the male genetic reproductive tract or the male reproductive cycle like in sense of spermatogenesis we find out what has happened through the hormonal analysis and through the scrotal doppler we will analyze the exact physical cause or the hormonal cause and then we go ahead and treat with that so this increases the chances of improved sperm production to up to 90 percent to 100 percent in almost most of the cases so the next thing is how we can treat a case of azoospermia. Azoospermia is a condition in which there is zero sperm in case of a man's semen. So there might be two causes. One can be there might be an obstruction or else there might be a decreased production inside the testis. So if there is an obstruction, it can be easily corrected through a microsurgery which we call as microsurgical vasoepidermal anastomosis and which gives a very good results and we, we had got a lot of patients ha having their own baby following this procedure. The second thing is there will be a non-obstructive cause which we tell us reduced production. In case in most of the scenario which means almost 80 to 90 percent of that scenario we will be able to in induce the spermatogenesis in the testes of the same man to start producing the sperm and we will retrieve the sperm through microsurgical testicular sperm extraction which will give them the opportunity to have their biologically own child but this requires some assisted reproduction mostly it requires a IVF or ICSI. In certain cases who has a severe oligo as you know tantosuspermia which means a very less sperm count, we can easily improve the man's spermatogenesis to make him have a natural conception or else the up to the maximum of IUI so that we can avoid the test tube baby or ICSI in case of that scenario. Thank you.